All rise, come to order. And for the 18th Judicial Circuit of Broward County, Florida, is now in session. Hands out of the pockets. How old are you? 17. 15. 15. 17. Eight British teenagers are appearing in a U.S. court. Hurry up, put your hand up on the wall. They're being sent to one of America's toughest jails. From the courtroom to incarceration, it's part of a radical intervention program for unruly teenagers and youngsters in trouble with the law. I beat this boy up to the point he was like unrecognizable. Baseball. Sold like weed, sold heroin, crack, cocaine. With the UK's prison population the highest in Europe and youth related knife crime up over 60% in five years, this is the first time British teens have taken part in the programme. If you're only 15 years old and the police don't scare you, what is going to make you behave? His world is very scary to me. It really is. For seven days, the teenagers who have been signed up by their parents will be living behind bars. This is real. 1,800 inmates. The worst of the worst. They will be pushed to their limits. Do we understand each other? Yes, sir. You want to say something? Touch me and I'll up in it. Touch me and I'll Go on, go on, go on. What do you have to do? Change. In the hope that life on the inside can change their lives on the outside. This ain't where you want to be, man. So far. You want to get on my bad side? Do you want to get on my bad side? The teens have had their first taste of prison life. This is not a game. Keep your hands on the wall. And being put to work alongside regular inmates. We got the shittest job here. That's so unfair. Hugh wanted to leave. I just want to get out. But was persuaded to stay. Your goal is to get through the day. And Tunde's defiant behavior Relax, 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 relax. Led to the entire group being punished. Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! I've cooked and ate bigger fish than you. The eight British teens are 48 hours into their week-long stay in Brevard County Jail. You ready to wake them up? Gentlemen, good morning. Get up. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Up, 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 up. Program leader Lieutenant Robbie Stokes believes right. it's time to ratchet up the pressure. Tough love has to happen. It has to happen. You got to break them down and then start building them up. Today, I will take no crap from Mr. Tunde. Any lip whatsoever, any, even a body gesture, lock him down, OK? Because he's going to show respect one way or the other. You got it. If you probably ask one of my friends to describe you, they'd be like, this guy does not care. He just likes getting the job done. They say I'm ruthless. All right, we're going to wake you up. 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 All right. Each morning, before breakfast, the teens are put through military-style physical training. When I say we one unit, I want to hear you roar. I want to hear you roar. Ah! We one unit! Ah! We one unit! Ah! We one unit! Ah! We one unit! Ah! They're teaching these kids to have unit. discipline. Discipline is the foundation of your life. We don't have quitters. Bring them up, 1,000. It's what makes you go to work on time. It's what makes you, you know, pay your bills on time. It's what makes you take care of yourself. All right. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Up! I really don't like being told what to do. Don't give a shit. Down! Tune is an angry person sometimes. His reaction is very, sometimes scary. Roll over, roll over, roll over, roll over, roll over. I'm not a criminal, but I've done stuff which people would say is criminal, like shoplifting, fighting, 
but I'm not a bad person. Do not drop them arm. Do not drop them arm. I'm almost up at night praying because I'm afraid of losing my son. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I can make it. I can, make it. I can take it. I can take Look it. Look at me. After PT, the teams are expected to tidy and clean their wing. Wouldn't it be so much easier with a hoover? Yeah. <laughs> Failing the lieutenant's inspection will result in them being punished. Dorm inspection, they teach structure, attention to detail, and taking pride in themselves. Their actions have consequences, and a lot of them don't even know the word consequence. They don't know what it means. Right, do you feel the string? What string? Grab one side of the string. Right. <laughs> Pull it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get a little tougher today as far as your inspection. I would take this moment to make sure your wall lockers, your areas, are exactly like the next man. It's called working together as a team. Make it happen. Yeah, leave it, blood. He's helping you, fam. Yeah, leave it. That's, that's my favorite part, man. You do it then. It has to be the same length as this. Cool, we have to make it exactly the same. I'm gonna get you so used to standing like this. You know? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. Very nice, ladies. It smells good in here, too. Doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Yes, awesome. good job, guys. Good job. Lord of mercy. Straight to you? No, sir. I don't hear you. No, sir. Fix it! That's not straight. You like sucking your teeth, Tunde? He likes sucking his teeth, Lieutenant. Let's go, Tunde! Taking orders. If you start giving that attitude about it, whatever, obviously I'm gonna start back chatting. You'd be like, what the fuck, man? How are you telling me to do something like that? Fix yourself. I asked a question. Were you ready for inspection? Your response was, yes, sir. You know what I think about these barracks? Let's get it right. Let's get it Let's right. Let's get it right. Get it right. It looks get like junk. Get, get, get it right. Get it done. Get it done again. Fuck's it, man. This guy is so drunk. What are you doing? I'm fed up. I'm literally fed up. Like Tunde, 17-year-old Corriday is also starting to rebel against the officers. I'm sorry, sir, do you have something to say? I ain't talking to no one. You, you're not talking to me? I'm not talking to anyone. Really? No. Because your lips are moving. Are you sucking your teeth now, too? I didn't suck my teeth. Get down! There will be times I'll go into school, I'll just be angry, innit? And I'm thinking, like, what's wrong with me, like? Right? Do not suck teeth here! I don't know why, I'm just, uh, just an angry guy, isn't it? I'm a very discreet person. I don't really say anything. Like, my dad thought I was a good boy, isn't it? No matter how hard you try, as a parent, you really don't have any control on what they are exposed to. The first sign was when one of his teachers pulled me to the side and Corridor was standing beside me. And this woman had absolutely nothing good to say about Corridor. And I was like, what in the world is this boy doing? I sold like weed, sold heroin, crack, cocaine. 
I had like, lots of money. I used to come into school with different trainers every day. Before school, I'll go buy a tracksuit. It, it gets to a point where it's addictive. There's so many ways to make money fraudulently, if you know what I mean. You invest in virtual currencies to buy bank deals, isn't it? Let me not go into much detail about that because it's a bit, you know. When I found out certain things, I was shocked. Not only shocked, I was appalled. What is at stake here is his life. It's dealing with forces that could chew him up alive. The foolishness ends. Unless I tell a joke, you don't smile. You guys better get it together. Put your tongue in your mouth. And hey, what you looking around for? Who else you think I'm talking to? Who else you think I'm talking to? Who else do you think I'm... Straighten your head. Put your hand Straighten your head. On your side. Who else you think I'm talking to? Pick your head up. When people tell me off, I literally just stand there and look about. I show them that I do not care. I don't care. That. I'm down here. Be a man. Look at him in the eyes. But then again, that, that got me here, so, you know, <laughs> it's, maybe it's time to start caring or not. I told y'all, it's two sides to me. Right now, you're dealing with a side you don't want to deal with. Do we understand each other? Yes, sir. Do we understand each other? Yes, sir. Okay. You're not saying a word. Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! This is how we do it. Down! Up! Down! Up! Down! Get up! Down, 12. On your feet. It's day three for the British teens incarcerated in Florida's Brevard County Jail. For the second day in a row, 15-year-old Whitney and 17-year-old Layla have been punished because of the boys' poor behavior and it's starting to create resentment. I think that's the only thing that kind of like gets me annoyed or upset me because they literally called us from our room to go and do their punishment with them. I told you everything has to be immaculate. You're like, no, it doesn't. Fuck that, man, what the hell with him? <laughs> Taking a fucking piss now, man. Why was I fucking pissed off? What the fuck, man? So no matter how perfect we do our room, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Because we've got to do press-ups anyway. Might as well just leave our room dirty. <laughs> Make them suffer, do you reckon? <laughs> what do you think, Whitney? No, cos then you're gonna make me suffer and I'm not going to be happy. I'm gonna end up flipping on them. I will. Let's just not they suffer. They made you suffer, how did you feel about that? Not happy? Think, exactly. Exactly, so make them that's suffer what? back. I don't know, that's you, innit? Yeah, The girls form a team quicker than the guys. However, they just get tired of each other at some point, and that's when the little cat fights start. I'm very strong-minded. I know what I want for myself, and I don't just follow people. I moved to London with my mom 11 years ago. I'm half Nigerian and half Bulgarian. I was born in Bulgaria. I did used to get kind of bullied for the colour I am. I would get hit, teachers pulled my hair, like, there was quite a few incidents. It's made me stronger. My biggest fear for Whitney is she harms someone badly if she can't contain her anger. I'm not scared to have a fight. If I see a fight coming, I'm not just going to back away. Me, my friend and this girl was in a group chat. I think something must have been said in the group chat. One day, one of my other friends called me saying that the girl, like, they're with her right now. He just jumped her straight away. Beat her up quite bad. One of Whitney's friends was videoing the fight. 
The girl was on the floor and Whitney was pulling her hair, which was really disturbing. I don't know my daughter is so violent. It feels nice in the moment, like it feels nice. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel nice in the moment. I really don't want my children being violent or abusive towards other people. So it's really shocking, really shocking, really. Guys, spread it out for me. Brevard County is the only jail in Florida to operate a chain gang. As part of the program, the teens are joining its ranks alongside regular inmates. All right, we're going to take it down. If you see trash, you shouldn't be there. Pick it up. If you take the chain gang and you look at the recidivism rate of our jail, it's about 44% for male inmates, unless they've been on the chain gang. And then it's zero. This place is freaking disgusting. My body is itching, literally. Believe it or not, we, we enjoy it because you get to get outside. We do it all day, too. Corriday is partnered with 19-year-old Sean, who's three months into a nine-month sentence. I'm here because you know, I took a car when I shouldn't have. It's just a dumb decision. I saw that a moped because I didn't want to walk in and I got caught. I used to steal bikes, using bolt cutters. Got caught once outside the station at like 3 a.m. and that. And then I was just head lost. I don't know what I was doing. Like. I didn't even get the bike, that's the thing. Just stupid, stupid, stupid. At first, he didn't tell me he was trying to steal a bike. He just told me that he was stopped. I didn't actually know it was that bad. When you're not a kid no more, man, you know. They're going to treat you a lot differently, you know. You don't want to spend your early 20s and your good years and getting locked up and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm only 19. I don't, I don't want to be locked up, so I'm supposed to be out living my life. Do your friends visit you? Nope. You don't visit me? They don't visit me. They don't write me. No. They're not allowed. Their life's going on out there. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, it seems like they don't care about me with anyone here. Oh, wow. Come on, guys, we're taking too long to do nothing. Let's go, let's go. How do we treat him with respect for this, Sam? The respect for what it's getting to With the morning shift over, the teens are sent back to their wing. You got stubs, blood. Oh, I got a full thing. See that, you see that? See that, see that? You got stubs, mate. You got stubs. You, you'll graduate soon. <laughs> <laughs> Three days into the program, 16-year-old Hugh is still struggling to handle life behind bars. I woke up like it was a normal day. Then I looked around and just thought, like, fuck it. Like, this is the last place I want to be. It's horrible. All I want to do is go home. Hugh has been in trouble with the police for antisocial behaviour. I worked as a, a prison officer, and some of the things that I witnessed, I don't want my son to go through. Look at him. What a pretty boy he is. He's a lifer's dream. On the first day, Hugh asked to leave, but was persuaded to stay. Now he's asked to speak to Lieutenant Stokes again. How are we doing today? This is the last place I want to be. This is the last place we want you to be, bud. It's just horrible. I just want to go home. Why? My girlfriend, my friends. Your girlfriend's going to be there when you get back, OK? Yeah. I do quit things pretty easy, cos I've always had that, like, support, like, from my family and stuff. He thinks that somebody will bail him out. Life's on a plate for Hugh. He says he wants it. 10 times out of 10, he gets it. I need you to make it through, and I'm going to help you make it through. Because if you quit, you quit in life. You will quit on everything. But when you make it through, you know that failure is not an option. It's not. I have yet to have a child quit, drop out. Just hang in there. 
Many kids spend their life running from one problem after another. I'm trying to teach them that you have to face your problems head on. Come and get your meal. I want you to enjoy your meal. Please do not waste my food. What's going to happen? If you do not eat my food, we're going back outside. Eat my food. Faced with the prison diet, many of the teens would rather go hungry. Oh, my days. I'm not eating, I'm sorry, I don't care. That's just meat and rice together. They're doing it on purpose. What the flip? It's coming like bulletproof vest. It's not that bad. Let's do it. It is actually bad, like. Hey, don't taste of anything, fam. I don't care. I'm not eating it. I'm sorry, I'm not eating it. Fuck. Fuck off. If I don't want to do this, I don't want to fucking do it, man. If I don't want to fucking eat this, I'm not going to fucking do it. Oh, just shut up. I can't do that. I don't care. OK, that's you. OK, that's you. OK, that's you. Listen, I don't give a shit anymore. Stop. No, this guy's crying all the time, He's though. Like no, we can't do the time when we're in the corner. Yeah, because I have because fucking of... issues, you fucking dickhead. I don't care, I don't care. Does he look, look at my face? Does it look like I care? Both of you, just chill what, out. What? You know if this guy touches me, I'll smack him up. Chill Wait, what? Both of you, shut up. Shut up. All of you, shut up. Just stop talking. Quite a nice guy, but if you get on the wrong side of me, then it's not great. You just got to leave him, innit? If he's got, like, let him cry, it's not you's lot crying, innit? Just leave him. Just say cry. And your point is... And your point is... Oh, you're not... You're not I ain't talking to you, G. You just got tumble on our mothers. I think the main thing I'm worried about is if I can't be myself around new people. There's shit like that that upsets me. I fucking hate it here. So I can't wait to get back and see my mum. I'm sure she can't wait to see you too. It's all right. You've got to take it day by day. If you think about it, the days are going quick. Nobody knows what you're going through. Only you know. So if you want to get upset about it, you have the right to get upset about it. You've got to try and be strong. Meal time over. It's Whitney's turn to make a call home. Hello. Hey, Mom. Oh, I love baby girl. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. It's just weird, like me and the girl have to like shower together. I know the toilets, like basically we can see each other weeing and pooing and stuff. Like it's so disgusting. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. And the underwear, like I'm wearing some tiny bra. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can barely fit in it. When Whitney was a little girl, she was really bubbly, very happy child. She loves talking, dancing, singing. Me and my mom are really close. We're like best friends. We talk about everything. In the morning, they made us do some exercise. Oh, we'll have to. <laughs> you need it. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. <laughs> I think that my mom's disappointed when she hears about me fighting. But apart from fighting, like I'm a really nice person, that's just not all I am a fighter. Enjoy your life in prison. Be Make sure that don't happen again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> OK, I love you. All right, cool. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Brevard County Jail holds inmates locked up on charges ranging from shoplifting and drug possession up to multiple murder. And three control in here front door, please. This afternoon, Lieutenant Stokes is putting the teens in a room with two men charged with the most serious of crimes. Fighters, drug dealers, gangbangers, <laughs> carrying knives, guns. You know what they're here for? Murder. You know what they're looking at? The rest of their life. Who's the oldest in this group? How old are you? 17. 17, raise your hand. Hi. 
16, raise your hand. 15. One of these inmates are 18 years old. The other one is 20. It's not too far off, is it? These individuals have come here to hear your story. So I hope that you can make an impact on their lives. Go ahead. For real, I seen y'all laughing and shit like it's a game, man. This ain't no game. I ain't number 18 years old, man. I'm one of y'all, man. Hanging around the wrong crowd is what got me here. I went to a party one night, man, and it was a big old shootout, man. I just happened to be in the mix. Two people got killed, and my name was brought up. So now I'm facing two first-degree murders, man. I can get the death penalty. When I was 17, I moved up here to Verwara County. High school, 11th grade, 12th grade. Playing sports. Every sport you, you could think of, I played, because I was athletic. See how tall I am. Moment started struggling, I ain't want to get no job. You know what I started doing? I started selling drugs. Crack cocaine, when it came to meth, I got some. Heroin, I got some. To help my mother out, help my brothers out. I thought money was everything. As long as I had money in my pocket, nobody could tell me nothing. You know what that led to? Murder. Drug deal going bad. I sold drugs and stuff. But in school, I was proper smart and that. All my grades were like, high in it. His teachers said I was gifted and talented. Which one I like to sell drugs and stuff? Oh, you like to sell drugs? And then from year nine, just didn't care, like. I know you ain't gonna listen. I am, I am, I am. You skinny too? Look, look at your little arms. My parents split, and at that time, like, they will literally be arguing, 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 and that. You want a murder talk? Cause you selling drugs? You've got gang life here. You've got the need for cash here. You've got peer pressure. That's his world, I believe. So you cannot survive under such pressure. Nobody can. Don't throw your life away. Me and my friends, we just started robbing people and that, like, mugging people on the street. The breakup built up a lot of anger in me. When I'm robbing people, I take out my anger on them, innit? His world is very scary to me. It really is. I don't want Corrida to become another statistic of the stereotype black man that has gone wrong and is a menace to society, chewed up and spit out by circumstances in life. Well, I'm mad white boys don't eat. Trust me. Pretty boy. Yeah, make you look pretty. Yeah, I seen it. Get cups and strings for your bra. Ooh, you hear me, Ferd? You hear me? Trust me. Yo, yeah, rip you. Which one you said I like to fight this one right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, you like to fight, boy. You too small to be in that room with me, boy. <laughs> I'll terrorize you, boy. I'll break your jaw, your nose. Knock all your teeth out of your mouth because you like to suck your teeth. <laughs> suck your teeth at me. Yo, suck your teeth at me. Come here, suck your teeth. Trust me. This ain't where you want to be, man. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I got to listen. I wish I'd go back to y'all's shoes, man. I wouldn't be in here. Come on, man. Some nights I cried. I can't talk to my mom. Can't talk to my brothers. I was in the same shoes y'all in. Same shoes. Same shoes y'all in. I just hope that y'all listen, man. My biggest fear is that my life is not what I thought it was going to be, if you know what I mean. I don't show it, but I am scared. Like, it's in the back of my head. Everyone is scared of something. Everyone has their downfalls. Boy, you like a younger me. Do something in your life, you know what I'm saying? Hey, thank you. 
Thank you for coming. All right. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. That's you. If you don't change your ways, that is you. I'm human. I know where they are. I've been there. And I really want to bring home how important it is for them to make a change for the positive. Still concerned about Tunde's attitude, Lieutenant Stokes calls him in for a one-to-one -one chat. Tunde, let me ask you this. Why the act? You live in East London, you've got to be tough to survive. Have you developed a reputation, maybe? I guess so. You think so? See, in my neighborhood, I had to be tough, because if he wasn't, it was just a sign of weakness. So my cousins and I had to develop, you know, that toughness. My cousins that I hung out with, where do you think they are right now? Prison? No, it's worse. They're dead. They're dead. And I love them to death, but I could not stay where they were. I had to leave. I had to make the decision. I had to make that decision. Last time I had a fight, everyone was shouting at me to stop. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't, I couldn't stop. One day, I do think I might get in serious trouble. It could be death or it could be jail. You just don't want to be vulnerable, right? If you let that wall down, man, you're going to soar like an eagle because you're a born leader. Be who you are. Be who you truly are. And let the wall down. Hello. Hello, mom. How are you, Tunde? I'm fine. Are you, you sure? Yeah, I'm good. How is the case? Oh, my days. I want to come home so bad. The food they have here is so bad. The peanut butter. It looks like someone put inside the bread. What? Don't make me for me. <laughs> <laughs> is it difficult? Is it very hard? So hard. They shout at you hard. They handcuff you. All of that. Everything. I don't even fight with anyone. No, I don't fight with anyone, I don't fight with anyone. Tunde growing up as a very little, cute boy and calm. He's a very, very gentle boy and uh, very obedient, you know. As a kid, me and my mum was really close. We talk about everything. Nowadays, I'm barely even at home to speak to her. He doesn't really respond to me. He's more and more quiet. He's hanging out with the wrong people. That is the way it is. We love you. I love you all too. I know. Bye. I'm actually happy now. I spoke to my family. I'm so guess. Yes. Yes. I don't even care. I said I love you. That's how it's supposed to be. Halfway through the behaviour modification programme, and officers are introducing a new form of discipline. Do you know if I spent longer than a week in the air, I think I'd crack off. Let's go, let's go, let's go! New day, new day, let's go! For this morning's physical drill, the teens are put through an obstacle course, usually used for training police officers. Let me know when you're ready, guys. Lieutenant Stokes wants them to work as a team. So to start, they're chained together. This is going to be so difficult. Two, one, go! Yeah. 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 
Take your time. Don't, don't let go of the chains. Oh, slow down. Wait, 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 wait. wait shoot, sure, relax, relax, relax. You're trying to survive the surrounding that you find yourself in. Quick, quick, quick. There you go. Good talking, guys. They need each other to get through it. I want them to need each other to get through it. Time stop when the last person crawls. Time stop. Go, 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 go. The boy we jumped over. Three, two, one. That is ain't nothing. You got to come on. Let's go, Big Mouth. You want to laugh? Let's go, Big Mouth. Let's go. The obstacle course is designed to build your confidence. Go, get over that wall. Get over the wall. These bits are heavy, fam. I don't care if you say you're top heavy. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Right, Come on, Come on, ladies. When a kid does something right and they are praised, it becomes infectious. Come on, Winnie. The more they get, the more they want. That's when I start seeing that change where they're accepting what I have to offer them. Proud of you. You come up here. At school, I didn't want people to see how much I was struggling. And I didn't want people to think that I couldn't handle myself and I was a bit weak. Go! Go! You guys should be step cheering up, him on. Up, you guys want up. him to cheer let's go, you guys let's go. on. Let's go! You, how you guys are going to get through this program is together. Woo! I think he needs a bit of pride. A bit of recognition that he is a nice boy and that he can be anything he wants to be if he chooses to be it. Go! Ha! Ha! Woo! Woo! I always hated school and college and everything. Right. Oh, this is making me look forward to it. <laughs> OK, that's a positive thing. I'm just going to try and do it. The best is yet to come. Thank you. All right, let's warm it back up. How you feel? Wow! Parade is self-control. Some of you are on target, bullseye. We like it here, we like it here, we don't want to go home. We like it here, we like it here, we don't want to go home. With the drill complete, the teams need to prepare their dorms. All right, 30 minutes, ladies, 30 minutes. Yesterday morning, they were all punished because the boys failed inspection. He said that everything needs to be identical, yeah. down to the uniform on each side. Huh? I bet you the boys are shitting bricks. <laughs> Yo, who the fuck put that one down? We'll just spray so it just smells nice. Hey, look. Don't even need to wipe it. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> How am I doing it? Well, outstanding. I was going to come and tell you guys to clean up, but you're already doing it. Good job. When you put two girls together, they typically have that honeymoon period, and a couple days in, not so much. Please stop whistling. Will you please stop whistling? It goes through me, please. Like, really stop. Like, stop it. It does me. I do not hate whistling. So you carry on. Seventeen-year-old Layla, who has a history of drinking and fighting, is beginning to rebel against jail routine. I don't like genuinely getting treated like a mug. Some people might see me as shy or timid, but I won't get walked over like I won't let people take the mech out of me. They'll know that we haven't mopped when they look at the mop bucket. Right. They're not going to tell that we did not mop. The mop bucket's dirty. Not mopping with dirty water. No, obviously take the water out and put Go fresh on, water. Go on then. Don't look like that at me. <laughs> Oh, fuck it, I'm not even bothered no more. I'm doing the same thing every day, like, I'm not bothered. Get on your bunks! It's time for inspection. Self-control! It's day four of the program and the teens are facing their morning inspection. Good morning. Morning, sir. How you doing? Good, sir. Good. Yeah. No, 
storm inspections, no matter how much they hate what's going on, through discipline and perseverance, they'll learn to get it right because they have to learn. I'm the main man today. We'll see what you got. Did anybody assign anything? Did anybody yeah, say, OK, you do this, you do that? Yeah, he came up to me and asked me, what does he do next? And I told him to go around and do towels. And Jordan, I told him to make sure the stools are straight. Naturally, if all you got to do is open your mouth, say the right thing, people will follow you. You don't have to follow nobody. A lot of these kids come with natural abilities, but they're using them for the wrong thing. So they look pretty good this morning. Carry on. Well, good job, guys. Proud of you. If I have one that likes to speak out, I'm going to home in on that as, hey, you're a natural leader, but you have to lead in a positive way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be so relieved in my life. Yeah, you actually did it. I'm so fucking careful about that. My was, I was, when he said, well done, I was... Yeah, you feel like relieved, didn't you? I've never been so happy in my life. With the boys' inspection over, the attention turns to Whitney and Layla. Are we going to pass today? Yes, Mom. Yes, Mom. Better hope so. Lieutenant? Ladies, y'all ready? All right, we're going to see. Ladies, what's going on? Y'all didn't look like this yesterday. You didn't look like this the day before. What's going on? Somebody tell me something. The floor hasn't been mopped. Distance is not the same. The towels are not the same. Your hats are not the same. We've been here too long, or we ain't been here long enough. Tell me, what is it? Working together. You're not working together. Why? Because she thinks she can do everything. Get it herself. right. Tear it up for me. Let them fix it again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And everything better match. Some people might say that I'm stubborn. I don't like to be wrong. When someone tries to criticize me, I don't like it. She thinks she can do everything. What? Well, speak up a bit, honey, yeah? If you heard me, you heard me. If you didn't, you didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Well, Sam, all right, then, so then don't ask me questions. Don't ask me questions. Then never exactly. hear just end off, so I'm shut up. Myself. You didn't fucking shut up, don't speak to you me. Shut the fuck up, bruv. Who the fuck are you talking to? You're weird. Clearly you. We'll do Clearly it. you. We'll do it. Are you going to do something? You, you're you ain't going to do shit, so shut the fuck up, bruv. You shut up. Damn bitch, bruv. Fucking dickhead. You're a proper dickhead. You fucking dickhead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up, Did you come to Liverpool and even try and say that, you dick? When I get angry, I just, like, it's like I see red in me and then I don't know what I'm, I'm doing at all. I'm just nasty. I don't know I'll who you think you are. I'm sure you're, like, 15. You ain't gonna do nothing. I'm 15 and I'll still up. fuck yeah, you up, so stop nah. chatting shit. You wouldn't Stop chatting shit. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Stop chatting you shit. You wouldn't at all. I will fuck you up, bruv. Go on, then. 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 Go You guys, as a team, need to figure this out. The moment that stuff is said in here, people get put in handcuffs, people get taken out, and people can get charged. Fuck this man. Because I'm trying to talk and keep talking over me. Well, See, I just you're told talking you to shut up. Me, then. Go. Go. No? Stop out. Go. I got all of my emotions to the point where like, it gets too much and I just explode. Let's see. I just don't stop when I start. She just thinks that she can do everything by herself or that she can take control all the time. 
we're a team. You don't always make decisions for me. She wants to be heard. She wants to be heard, but when it's my turn to be heard, she doesn't want to listen. I think it's not even that it's kicked off, it's just all things playing in my mind, and now that I've been like frustrated, it's all just came out. I'm fine, okay? Next time. Donkey. Hey, shut your mouth, man. What the fuck, fam? Tensions between Tunde and Corriday boil over. Shut the fuck up, man. Just get the fuck out of my face. Get up! Get up! Get up! A potential weapon goes missing. If you know what we're looking for, it'll be wise for you to give it to us. And the teens come face to face with victims of crime who paid the ultimate price. <laughs>